Hi, I'm Dr. Janine Krippner, volcanologist, and this is my guest. Hi, I'm uh, Mike Poland. I'm a geophysicist with the USGS and the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. So that's a pretty big job, being in, in charge of Yellowstone. So we all saw yesterday that there was an earthquake series in Utah, and I see some people have been asking questions about any relation to Yellowstone or if that could trigger an eruption. So if you would like to expand on that, please. Sure. Yeah, so this is a thing that kind of happens every time there's a, a decent-sized earthquake in the western U.S. You know, for example, back July 4, July 5 last year with the Ridgecrest earthquakes, the magnitude 7 that happened in California. And it's, I think, an understandable thing. You, know, you see sort of an earthquake that's uh, strong enough, and, you know, is that going to have any impact on Yellowstone? And the answer is typically no. Um, and we know this because, you know, back in 1959, there was a magnitude 7.3 earthquake that happened right on the western boundary of the park. And uh, it did change some geyser behavior because it, it shook the geyser conduit systems, but obviously didn't cause any eruptions. You know, the last time Yellowstone erupted was 70,000 years ago, and that was a lava flow. And there have been thousands of strong earthquakes in the western U.S. since that time, and obviously none of them have, have triggered things. So we do keep an eye on things, of course. Uh, uh, vigilance is key, but uh, the 5.7 uh, yesterday in Utah didn't, didn't have any noticeable effect in, on Yellowstone. And you guys are still watching the entire system, even though we're all kind of yeah. slowly quarantining ourselves. Yeah, that's one thing the Internet does a good job of. It allows us uh, access to all the monitoring data we need, uh, no matter where we are. So uh, so we're able to keep an eye on Yellowstone, even from home. Thank you so much, Mike. Um, if anyone has any more Yellowstone questions, feel free to ask below, and we can answer those for you. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Take care. Stay healthy, everyone.